Welcome to the Northern Light Gospel Hour. On today's episode, we feature the music and ministry of Brother Kenny Jackson. We've got a couple songs from him, the title track of his new album, Just So Real, and later on we're going to hear a Cree song called We Takuzen. Northern Light Gospel Hour. It's so good to finally be able to connect with you here. Hey, uh, really glad to be able to, uh, yeah, finally put it together. And I'm just really glad to uh, join you guys on uh, your uh, radio broadcast. Amen. Brother, why don't you uh, start by maybe introducing yourself a little bit and tell us where you're from and uh, how you got into ministry, how the Lord led you into into this music world. Well, um Starting a few years back, uh, I'm from a little uh, reservation up in northeastern Alberta called Goodfish Lake, and that's uh, Plains Cree area. I uh, started into music way back in uh, 1981 with uh, Sunrise Gospel Band. It's been it's been good over the years to just be able to follow God and be able to do what he wants you to do and, and especially when you're really enjoying it as we have been doing in gospel music. We've got a couple songs we'd like to play. Um, you've got one here, Just So Real. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Just So Real, how that album and how that song came about? Well, uh, Just So Real was a song that uh, came, uh, I guess it was, probably about uh, just before 
we did our last recording, which would be about a year and a half ago. We were, um, I had been doing some thinking about uh, my dad and they'd, uh, our parents. And they'd been going through some health issues and stuff like that. And I thought about, well, you know, uh, I, I listened to a brother of mine. Uh, he had written a song uh, about his dad after his dad had passed away. And uh, it just kind of uh, hit me. What about writing a song about him while he's still here? And that kind of took things to a different level. And uh, I feel, you know, the thoughts come. Uh, uh, you know, a songwriter has these kind of thoughts. And uh, it was along the lines of, well, what are people going to think? You know, is it going to be good enough? Is uh, what's dad going to think of it? And that, and that kind of stuff. And uh, so it took took a while to really... Uh, put it together, but uh, I was glad it finally came, and it's a song of appreciation, and uh, my dad always um, took the approach, hey, uh, if you're going to bring me flowers, don't wait till I'm dead, you know, he said, uh, <laughs> don't bring no flowers to my grave if you can't bring them while I'm still living, and so I thought, well, okay, and uh, I wrote a song that uh, talked about his faith in Jesus and just how much that uh, meant to him and what it meant to us as uh, his kids. And that's the way it came out. We used it as a title track on that, and you're going to hear it here in a while. But uh, that's, yes, that's the story behind that. So the other song we're going to hear is a Cree song. It's called uh, We Talk Within. Is that right? That's pretty close. <laughs> it's, a, it's a song that uh, we started to do that, uh, well, it was originally translated by uh, my dad back in 1968. And, and uh, he had just, uh, I guess, <coughs> excuse me. He just come home from uh, the Kikino Church, and uh, they'd been singing this song. He's coming soon, and um, he uh, said to Mom, "Boy, you know that song would uh, probably really go good in Cree." So he took the rest of the afternoon and translated the song into Cree, and. Uh, I like to say it. Well, it never made the top twenty, but it made number twenty-nine in the Cree hymn book. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of the way it was. We started to sing it. Uh, well, we'd been doing it a little bit over the years, but more seriously about two, three years ago, it started to make sense to put that on our regular repertoire, and uh, that's. Yeah, that's the story behind that song. <laughs> that's great. Well, Kenny, if uh, if someone wants to sow into your ministry or get a hold of your music or your or your albums or or book you in or something like that, what's the best way that people can uh, get in touch with you? Well, we work with the Native Evangelical Fellowship of Canada. And that's one way of getting in touch with us. That's out of Winnipeg. Um, the other way is uh, to uh, you can drop us uh, an email at uh, freedomriver59 at yahoo.ca. That's freedomriver59 at yahoo.ca. That's the easiest way to get a hold of us. And um, it also, we we do have some... We're well, we have got this latest recording that is on digital, and it's um, the whole album we're, we're offering to uh, uh, be uh, be there if somebody wants to buy it. And uh, if you want to order that, uh, just uh, drop us a line. We do the e-transfer thing, and uh, we're able to get you out a digital copy of that recording. 
to 15 bucks, and we're just uh, working at getting about three or four more recordings available that way also. us for another edition of the Northern Light Gospel Hour. If you've been blessed by this ministry, look for us on Facebook at the Northern Light Gospel Hour and like our page. It's here you can stay up to date with Northern and or Indigenous Gospel artists. This episode is copyrighted RKPK Productions 2021. All music and interviews have been used by permission and any reproduction is prohibited unless consent has been given by myself, Rob Croker. Next week is our last episode from Season 1. We've got Melanie Choken from Lake Manitoba sharing about her music and ministry. Don't forget to tune in. 
May God bless you this week. I'm Rob Croker, and this has been another edition of the Northern Light Gospel Hour.